Welcome to r slash financial independence retire early. This is the fire movement. It's kind of a central hub, 906,000 members. Now, I highly recommend checking out this subreddit, reading some of the posts and kind of seeing what's going on here because this is the goal, retiring early. It's not because we don't like to work. In fact, work is mentally a very important thing or some kind of a side hustle. But the point of being financially independent and retiring early, the fire movement, is because it gives you back control of your life. You don't have to work or you don't have to do anything you don't want to do because you're financially independent and you can travel, you could work on a business, you can do whatever you want. You have the ability to when you're financially independent. So that's what all 906,000 members of us are trying to do because we realize that our lives are indeed finite. And retiring at 65 might not work for us. What happens if we die before then or if we're too old to do anything? Stuff like that. It's very important. We want to live our lives to the fullest. Now, the point of this video is to talk about the, the possibilities you have and the amount of money that you may or may not need to retire. Because a lot of people, I feel like, especially after reading some of these posts, they feel like they need a million plus dollars in order to retire. And it's going to be this lofty goal that's really not attainable. So I want to show you this. This is a YouTube channel called Exploring Alternatives. And there's lots of channels like this, but you can kind of see the, the thumbnails here. And all their videos are just highlighting different ways of living that are very fulfilling and meaningful and exciting. You can see this is one living in a truck camper, so an RV, van life kind of a thing. A lot of these are different off-grid uh, living situations, so people that buy a piece of land, set up their own cabin, all that kind of stuff. We can see this one right here looks very interesting. Some people even living on sailboats. So it's just all these alternative lifestyles that are very, uh, fun, interesting. You get to travel in a lot of these and they can give your life a lot of meaning and purpose and just general excitement, much more so than the nine to five commuting lifestyle that most people have. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because a lot of these alternative lifestyles are in fact very cheap and affordable because you're living off grid, you're living in some kind of an RV. So on top of being very exciting and giving your life a lot of purpose, it's also very realistic to retire early in some kind of a alternative living situation. In fact, Nate O'Brien just posted a video today talking about how he moved into his truck for the summer and he's doing that to experience life a bit more, travel, and save some money. Even though he has over a million subscribers on his channel, even he is still doing this. So if you choose to live an alternative lifestyle, you can do anything you want. You can live off grid, you can live in an RV. There's a lot of ways to do this. It's not one size fits all, and that's the beauty of it. But this is very cheap. So this is one example saying that this couple, it only cost them their lifestyle 850 bucks per month. So very affordable. Of course, that's probably one of the cheaper uh, lifestyles, but it goes to show that this can be done on a tight budget. I know for myself personally, I really want to one day get some kind of an RV, maybe a van and travel up kind of by British Columbia, maybe even Alaska. So that's kind of my dream alternative living. And I've calculated that it's going to cost me roughly 1200 bucks a month to live that lifestyle. And if you think that's insane, I want to throw a few numbers at you. So the average monthly social security payment in 2021 was just over 1500 bucks a month. And we know that the vast majority of, you know, non-financially educated people, you know, the kinds of people that are not watching a video like this on YouTube, most of them have absolutely zero in savings. And this number right here shows that 40% of the population live solely off of their social security checks every month. And most of these people are living regular lives. They have a mortgage, they pay rent, have all these liabilities and expenses. So I think it's not a stretch to say that if you want to live an alternative lifestyle and you're a minimalist, you're financially educated, then this is very possible with not a lot of money. All right, so moving over to my brokerage, this is an example portfolio of what I'm thinking about doing when I want to retire early and live my alternative lifestyle. So four ETFs, very simple, dividend yield combined of around five and a half percent and a very low expense ratio. And we can see here I have Jeppy, SEHD, Divo, and I even tossed in QYLD because I know a lot of people like that ETF. And, you know, it's cool. I understand for income. So I tossed it in at 10 percent. Now, a huge disclaimer, uh, of course, these ETFs could cut their dividends, uh, especially QYLD. It's like 11 percent right now. And it does go up and down 
and they ultimately try to pay out as much as they possibly can, but you have to realize that they can go down. JetBe is much the same because they do a covered call strategy. SCHD is probably the most reliable because it's just a regular dividend ETF, although it does have the lowest yield, but this number tends to go up roughly 10% a year. So there's gonna be some volatility, some potential dividend cuts. So you're gonna to wanna to have cushion and a margin of safety in your budget. But ideally, over time, it should have capital appreciation, not a lot. It's going to lag the general market. Of course, with a dividend yield like this, it's going to lag the market. But hopefully, in normal times, you get some capital appreciation. And if you don't use all of your dividends, or if you have some kind of a side hustle, you can reinvest, add more capital into this portfolio as you're retired. And as time goes on, you're actually going to be increasing your net worth and getting more compounding and increasing your dividends. So that's the general idea with a portfolio like this. And now if we come over to this and just do some basic numbers, I believe for my goal, $300,000 is all I need. And like I just said, over time, this would actually go up and produce me more and more income. So if we do that times the 5.5%, uh, dividend yield, we can see that that would be a yearly income of $16,500. If you want to extrapolate that to 12 months, we can see that that surpasses my goal of $1,200 per month at $1,375. So I'm going to have a little bit of a cushion, like I was just saying, and ideally, over time, it actually appreciates, it compounds a little bit. Uh, I could reinvest some of the dividends and that number will only go up as time goes on. So if you're a little skeptical and you don't believe me, I just wanna say I fully understand this is a pretty extreme example and I'm just some random guy on the internet, but CNBC Make It, an awesome little channel they have here, they just uploaded this video two days ago on a couple that did exactly what I'm trying to do. So they retired early in their 30s because of their investment accounts and they live that alternative lifestyle off grid and they travel. And this is just proof of concept that it can be done and that people actually live like this. So I definitely recommend watching this video and I'll leave it linked down below. And I do wanna mention that these four funds are just an example of some of my favorite funds that I put together for um, retiring early. But of course, um, there's a lot more. So here's a list of the top 100 highest paying or highest dividend yielding ETFs. And I'll leave this down below if you guys want to check it out. Of course, most of these I would never invest in. So definitely do your research, look into these. But this is just a list of 100 of the highest paying dividend ETFs. So we're coming to the end of the video. And I just want to make this talking about why we're doing this. Why are we saving money? Why are we investing? It's because we want to be financially independent, which means taking control back over your life, doing what you want and not being tied to jobs because you have financial obligations and all this stuff that's taken away from your quality of life. So it's important to keep your eyes on the prize and what we're trying to do. And I just wanted to highlight alternative ways of living that are very exciting, fulfilling, and might be way more achievable than you might have thought. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you next time.